Hello everyone, this is your number one tech Mark here to bring you another video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to go over how to set up the mobile app IPST2 and navigate through it. So when you first open up the mobile app, you're going to get to this list and there's going to say no jobs found. You click on the menu in the top left and then you click set up accounts. Click on the plus in the top right and then you can set up the account based on the information that has been given to you. So now after you've entered in your login information, you can scroll down a little bit and you'll see the photo overlay settings. This is the information that's going to stamp onto the photo if, you're, if the company you're doing this work for requires it or wants it. Uh, the GPS location, if you drop that down, you can choose one of the four corners on the photo. Same with the date, time, location, the address location as well. The tag, that's just an empty field that you can type something in if you want it to stamp onto all of your photos, maybe your server name, maybe the company name, or you can just leave it blank and leave it off. If you continue to scroll down, there's some date warning settings. If you wanted to see uh, warnings, uh, which would flag these dates in red, you can see, you can change the dates uh, accordingly here. So after you've made your selection, you go ahead and click save in the top right. Then you're going to go back to that first window you were on, click on the menu, and then click sync all. Now it's going to retrieve all of your jobs. And as you can see, it's pulled down all three jobs that I have, so now I can continue. And you'll notice that the new jobs that I've pulled down say new in green right next to the priority, which they all say standard. So if I open up one of the jobs and I look at it and then I go back, well now it no longer says new, indicating that I have seen this job. The first job that we're going to look at is just going to be this job number 99 for the Winter Soldier. So I tap on that job and it brings me into the details of the job. So there's a couple of new things about the mobile app that you can see right now. There's a set service button. That's new. The set service button replaces the action of you having to go in and click on set and get location. That set service is going to set this as the actual service information and it is capturing the GPS coordinates for the actual serve. So that's really important if those are things that you need. You can take care of it all at once. Tap set service. You'll see that it's going to retrieve the location and it's going to set this as the actual service information. The other option you have is you can add an attempt. So let's say that you attempted to serve the Winter Soldier and you could not. Tap on Add Attempt. It brings you to the attempt. It already has some information here. You can start typing in whatever you want about the attempt. You have your date and time of the attempt below. And then you have a location data. So if you need to capture the GPS coordinates for your attempt as well, you can just tap on the GPS location button and then it'll capture your location data. Now let's say that you were able to conduct a subservice. You didn't serve the Winter Soldier, but maybe you served their spouse. Uh, so you would tap on the actual information to the left of set service where it says the name and address. So you tap on that, it brings you to the View Serve V window. You have some options in the very bottom. The first option, that's a map. That's going to show you a map of that address in your, you know, whatever maps you have. The middle option, the check circle, if you tap on that, that's the set actual service and then set and get location option, which does the set service from the previous screen. And then the last option is to add a duplicate survey detail. So if you tap on that, it brings you into a brand new survey detail that's ready to be filled out. You can, you know, just kind of scroll this up and down. Most of this information may not need to change. You know, same address, same last name even. So you're just going to be changing the first name to the spouse instead of that, that person. Maybe put in the relationship that says that they're the spouse. And then now you can save that account. And you can save it. And now you see that you have the other option here. So if that's who you served, now you can click set service. It'll retrieve your GPS coordinates and it will set that person as the actual service information. 
If you scroll down just a little bit more, then you can start filling in the service details. You have your date time that you can fill in. Your type of service will be whatever it is that uh, you know is pertinent to this. And then you can fill in your military married if you want to. Continue down, you can add in comments. You could take a photo, take a new photo, or pick from your existing through your camera roll. And then you would just save the job. You'll see that it has the red dot next to it. It shows completed. Now the completed flag, that is going to show on a jobs that have a date and time and type of service selected. It'll show that it's been completed. And that's just so that you as a server can easily tell, okay, yeah, I've already have this information. You don't need to bother with looking at it anymore because you've already set it. Then what you want to do to send that information is you go back up to the menu, click sync all. It sends all of this information back to PST. You'll notice that red dot has now gone away, indicating that those changes have been synced. And if you click into the job, any red dot that used to be there, they're all now green, indicating that this is okay and good to go. Now this other job I want to show you, this job number 101 at the bottom for Grant Ward, this is going to be a shotgun style job. So if you tap on that, you're going to notice right away that there are there is no set service and there is no add attempt button on this window like there was on the other. Uh, that is because on a shotgun style job, you actually want to go into the survey detail that you are actually working on at that time. So for this example, I'm going to look at the, the Grant Ward address in the very middle, the 789 Hidden Forest Court. So if I tap on that, now I have a lot of the same options. They just look a little bit different. I've got that little plus with the person, so if I need to add a new survey detail, I can. I have the map, so if I wanted to see an, uh, the address on a map, I can. And I can also click Add Attempt to add in the attempt information. Now there is not a set service information here because when you scroll down and you choose the date time type of service information, that is already taking care of the things that you need to do. You click on your GPS coordinates to get the geolocation of your service. You can continue down, you get your date captured, your comments, your pictures. These are all things on this specific survey detail. So I went ahead and I added a little bit of information in there and you can see here it has my date and time and my type of service. And if you can scroll down a little bit more, you have your party be served status so you can choose your military and married options. You can choose comments and add pictures. Now these comments and pictures though would be on the job level within PST. The comments and pictures that you would find within the survey detail here, the comments and pictures, those are going to be linked with this specific survey detail. So it's important to note that if you are updating a shotgun style job, you want to go into the survey detail and use the comments and pictures options from within so that everything in the office works out the way that it should. So I went ahead and I added a comment and I added a picture into this specific survey detail and then I click save. And again, you see the red dot indicating I have made updates to this job and I have not synced yet. So then you can fill out whatever other information. You'll see the comments and pictures that I added into the specific survey detail. So you see this is a comment for the grant ward at the 789 Hidden Forest Court address. If I were to then go back into, let's say, into the 525 Marvelous Road, go down, add in your own comment here call it test two save that now again within the job you see it has 525 marvelous road as the comment for that one and then this one has 789 hidden forest court uh, indicating that you've added the comment into that specific survey detail and that's what you want to do and then you would just save that you go to the menu you click sync all and it sends all the information you no longer have your red dot now this update, you'll see that it now says one slash three. So one of three. That indicates that one of those three survey details that you saw 
have been completed with a date time type of service information. If you were to input the date and time type of service for all three of them, uh, then it would it would show three out of three and then it would be a completed job. If you have any questions, feel free to give Database Services a call and we will help you out. 407-679-1539. Thank you.